Today I'm taking a bike tour around Tel Aviv and seeing some sights with my guide. I'll talk you through some of the phrases and vocabulary as we go, and soon you'll be turning around in Hebrew too. Let's go. קודם נלך לגן הסלעים. איך מגיעים לשם? קודם נפנה שמאלה. בסדר, נפנה שמאלה. כן. אחר כך נפנה ימינה. אוקיי. ואז נגיע לגן הסלעים. יאללה, בוא נלך. Let's break down the conversation so far. As you read along, remember that unlike English, Hebrew is written from right to left. My guide and I are in Park Hayarkon, Hayarkon Park, a five kilometer expanse of green lawns, gardens, playgrounds, ball fields, and music venues. Biking through the park is a popular pastime, so we've rented bikes for the day. He began by telling me, Kodem, nelech legan aslaim. Kodem means first. Nelech legan aslaim means, we'll go to the rock garden. קודם נלך לגן הסלעים. I didn't know where the rock garden was, so I asked him, איך מגיעים לשם? Which means, how do we get there? איך מגיעים לשם? He explained, קודם, remember that? It means first. נפנה שמאלה. We'll turn left. קודם נפנה שמאלה. I wanted to confirm that. בסדר. That means something like, all right. Then I repeated, נפנה שמאלה. Do you remember that? We'll turn left. Beseder, nifne smola. He confirmed. Ken. Yes. Ken. Then he said, Achar kach nifne yamina. Achar kach means then, and nifne yamina is we'll turn right. Ken. Achar kach nifne yamina. Okay, I said. As you'll find in many languages, okay is often used in casual situations. Okay. Finally, my guide said, we'll arrive at the rock garden. Ve'az nagia legan aslaim. Here he used ve'az, which means and then or finally. Ve'az nagia legan aslaim. I was excited and said, yalla, bon elech. Come on, let's go. In Hebrew sentences, some words have different forms for male and female. Here, I used the male form when speaking with my guide, and he would use the female form when speaking with me. Yalla. בואי נלך. גן הסלעים is one of the six major botanical gardens in the park and considered one of the world's largest rock gardens. Winding through its 10 acres, you'll see standing stones of Israeli granite, limestone and more, along with 3,500 plant and cacti species. Let's review some words and sentences. Try saying them along with me if you'd like. איך מגיעים לשם? How do we get there? איך מגיעים לשם? קודם נפנה שמאלה. First, we'll turn left. קודם נפנה שמאלה. אחר כך נפנה ימינה. Then we'll turn right. אחר כך נפנה ימינה. ואז נגיע לגן. And then we'll arrive at the garden. ואז נגיע לגן. Let's see where we go next. לאחר מכן, נלך לנמל הישן. איך מגיעים לשם? קודם, נלך לאורך הנחל. אוקיי. נלך מתחת לגשר. טוב. אחר כך, נלך על גשר. סבבה. ואז, נגיע לנמל הישן. We were leaving the garden when my guy told me we were going to the old Tel Aviv port. לאחר מכן, נלך לנמל הישן. לאחר מכן means next, and נלך לנמל הישן is we'll go to the old port. לאחר מכן, נלך לנמל הישן. The Yarkon River flows through the park to its most western point, where it meets the Mediterranean Sea at the old port. I knew it was west of where we were, but didn't know how to get there. Do you know what I asked? That's right. איך מגיעים לשם? How do we get there? איך מגיעים לשם? 
The guide said, קודם נלך לאורך הנחל. You remember קודם? First. And נלך לאורך הנחל means something like, we'll go along the river. קודם נלך לאורך הנחל. אוקיי, okay, I said. אוקיי. Okay. He explained that. נלך מתחת לגשר. We'll go under a bridge. נלך מתחת לגשר. I said, טוב. That literally means good. טוב. Then the guy told me, אחר כך נלך על גשר. Then we'll go over a bridge. אחר כך נלך על גשר. That sounded סבבה. This is a common slang you'll hear often. It means good or great. סבבה. And my guide said, ואז, remember that? It means, and then. ואז. We'll arrive at the old port. נגיע לנמל הישן. ואז נגיע לנמל הישן. נמל, as the locals call it, was originally built in the 1930s, but fell into disuse as large container ships outgrew the port's facilities. About 20 years ago, a landscaping competition to redesign its docks and hangars resulted in an award-winning public space. There are now upscale boutiques, markets, restaurants, kids' attractions, and trendy nightclubs, all built on miles of artistically designed decks. Let's review some more words and sentences. Go ahead and say them along with me. נלך לנמל הישן. We'll go to the old port. נלך לנמל הישן. נלך לאורך הנחל. We'll go along the river. נלך לאורך הנחל. נלך מתחת לגשר. We'll go under a bridge. נלך מתחת לגשר. נלך על גשר. We'll go over a bridge. נלך על גשר. I wonder where we're going to go next. לאחר מכן, נלך ליפו העתיקה. איך מגיעים לשם? נלך לאורך החוף. סבבה. כן. אחר כך נעבור את מגדל השעון. אה, מגדל השעון! כן, ואז נגיע ליפו העתיקה. After we explore the old port, my guide said, לאחר מכן נלך ליפו העתיקה. Next, we'll go to old Jaffa. לאחר מכן נלך ליפו העתיקה. And so I asked, איך מגיעים לשם? Remember what that means? That's right. How do we get there? איך מגיעים לשם? We were standing on the south end of the promenade with the sea on one side and hotels, restaurants and shops on the other. My guide pointed straight ahead and said, נלך לאורך החוף. We'll go along the beach. נלך לאורך החוף. סבבה. Remember that? That's right. It's slang for great. סבבה. He agreed and said, כן. Yes. Then he explained, we'll go past the clock tower. כן. אחר כך נעבור את מגדל השעון. I had read about this famous landmark, one of seven towers built during the Ottoman period, around 1900. So I said, ah, מגדל השעון. Oh, the clock tower. Ah, מגדל השעון. Then he said, כן, ואז נגיע ליפו העתיקה. Yes, and then we'll arrive in old Jaffa. כן, ואז נגיע ליפו העתיקה. Walking the narrow streets of old Jaffa is like stepping back in time. Ancient texts show that this site has been a seaport and thriving city for over 4,000 years. Today, these neighborhoods are still vibrant with street markets, galleries, and eateries. Let's see where my guy takes us next. לאחר מכן, נלך לבית קפה מדליק. סבבה. איך מגיעים לשם? הולכים מעבר לפינה. יאללה, בוא נלך. בואי נלך. What an amazing city this is. We've wandered everywhere, so I was very happy when my guide said, לאחר מכן, נלך לבית קפה מדליק. That means, next, we'll go to an awesome cafe. מדליק literally means to light or ignite something, but here it's slang for it's cool or awesome. לאחר מכן, נלך לבית קפה מדליק. 
I responded with, Sababa, ech megiim lasham? You've heard these words before. Great, how do we get there? Sababa, ech megiim lasham? You got it. He replied, Holchim me'ever lapina. Go around the corner. Holchim me'ever lapina. I was definitely ready for coffee, so I said, Yala, bon elech. Come on, let's go. Yala, bon elech. He said, Boin elech. Let's go. Boin elech. And off we went. Now, let's practice some words we learned. See if you remember what they mean. Beseder. All right. Beseder. Tov. Good. Tov. Sababa. Great. Sababa. Madlik. Awesome. Madlik. Yala, bon elech. Or yala, boin elech. Come on, let's go. Well done. Now that I've broken the scene down for you, let's watch it in real time to see how much you've already learned. קודם נלך לגן הסלעים. איך מגיעים לשם? קודם נפנה שמאלה. בסדר, נפנה שמאלה. כן. אחר כך נפנה ימינה. אוקיי. ואז נגיע לגן הסלעים. יאללה, בוא נלך. לאחר מכן נלך לנמל הישן. איך מגיעים לשם? קודם נלך לאורך הנחל. אוקיי. נלך מתחת לגשר. טוב. אחר כך נלך על גשר. סבבה. ואז נגיע לנמל הישן. לאחר מכן נלך ליפו העתיקה. איך מגיעים לשם? נלך לאורך החוף. סבבה. כן. אחר כך נעבור את מגדל השעון. אה, מגדל השעון. כן, ואז נגיע ליפו העתיקה. לאחר מכן נלך לבית קפה מדליק. סבבה. איך מגיעים לשם? הולכים מעבר לפינה. יאללה, בוא נלך. בואי נלך. In Tel Aviv, bike tours are a popular and fun way to see the city, and there's a wide variety of options. Usually, you would join a group tour with a few other people, but private bike tours are available too. If you want to know about private tours, you might ask, יש לכם סיורים פרטיים? Do you have private tours? If you want to experience the heartbeat of Tel Aviv, take a street tour to experience the outdoor market, street art, and Bauhaus architecture. If you're interested, you might ask, יש לכם סיורי רחוב? Do you have street tours? Or, if you're an experienced biker, you might want to check out off-road trails in the surrounding mountains. So you might ask, יש לכם סיורים על אופני הרים? Do you have mountain bike tours? Tel Aviv is perfectly situated for guided day trips to Israel's most famous sites. Tours to historical, archaeological, and cultural sites will leave you in awe. The holy sites in Jerusalem may be the first tour you'll want to take, to visit both its ancient and modern sites. If you're interested, you might ask, כמה עולה הסיור של ירושלים? How much is the tour of Jerusalem? Historic Golan Heights is worthy of a day trip, where you'll climb volcanoes and visit an ancient 6th century synagogue. If you're interested in this tour, you might ask, כמה עולה הסיור של רמת הגולן? How much is the tour of Golan Heights? Bethlehem, considered the birthplace of Christianity, may be an important visit for you. You could ask, כמה עולה הסיור של בית לחם? How much is the tour of Bethlehem? Finally, you cannot leave Israel without lying on the beach at the Dead Sea. Add it to another tour or make a special trip, it is not to be missed. Infused with a deep cultural history, Tel Aviv is a modern city with everything to offer, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Yalla, bon elech! Come on, let's go! Thanks for joining me on a bicycle tour with my guide, who showed me how to get from here to there in Tel Aviv. 
To learn more useful phrases and gain more cultural insights, check out our other videos.